what it means for MFS to have a new headquarters. It was really time. Our, our last lease was up. And as we scanned the marketplace, we found an opportunity that we thought was too good to pass up. So, but we also did multiple uh, focus groups with staff that are here today and staff that were here previously to figure out what was the best location for them, space, style, the type of uh, setting. We have more individual stations now that we did at the time. And I've come to really actually love this office, being in it for a few months. Um, there's something here for everybody. Um, if you need personal space, there are these focus rooms where you can have your Zoom conversations with clients, with other people across the organization. that we have more conference space, that we've integrated Zoom and other virtual uh, capacity to the space so that we can have virtual meetings. The fact that it's beautiful, that it has great amenities. We think at the end of the day, that's going to be the most important thing to get our folks to have a better working environment. Zoom rooms have become a part of our everyday life. Tele you know, kind of health services exist more now. And it's a hub kind of where it starts out here. Something we haven't had in many years is windows. Regardless of kind of where you sit, there's a window to look out and have natural light coming in. It was important for Metropolitan have it, to have a downtown location for a variety of different reasons. One of them is it's centrally located. So people could come from the suburbs, could come from the south side, the west side, the north side, and come to the middle of the city. The Legal Aid Society of Chicago which is our, essentially, our, our legal aid clinic here for Metropolitan, they need to be downtown, uh, primarily to see clients and to head out to court. Now, they are also in other communities, but some, being centrally located so they can get to the courts is important to them and to the clients that they see that are coming from all around the metropolitan area. The things that are happening outside of this building, uh, this space will allow uh, for most sites to be empowered through our grants work, through our evaluation, through our strategy and direction. But the work that happens at each community center is what really will position the Met Metropolitan Family Services and the organization uh, for the future. Um, and that's through the individuals served, addressing immediate needs, uh, behavioral health, education, domestic violence, human trafficking, uh, and also our workforce development through communities. But the work really is out in community and that's what's most important. So we're just so happy to have it and hoping for people to get here as soon as possible.